Hi, I'm Zerfall, and welcome to Let's Play Law of the West. If you've ever wanted to strap on a six-shooter, pin a tin star to your chest, and match the exploits of Bat Matterson or Wyatt Earp, then Law of the West is your chance. Um, we're going to apparently need some true grit and then some to play this game. We're going to play the Sheriff of Gold Gulch. And it's a tough Wild West town. We have to survive till sundown. One day. It's hard enough. Um, we're going to get shot at. We're going to do some shooting. We're going to hit on the ladies. All while only moving our arm below the elbow. Um, so let's get this show on the road. Um, I'm going to skip through this text a bit here in case you were interested in reading it. You can pause and read all this text. Um, there's information on all the people that you can come across in this town. Pretty much everyone you can piss off to the point where they might try to shoot you. Um, so, we're the only law in this part, so people won't uh, stop us from just shooting all the innocents, but we really shouldn't if we want to get a good score. Uh, I've got the joystick plugged in already, and we're ready to go. Pretty much what you can do is, there's you talk to people, then you have responses you can have, and if you push up when you're at the top response, you draw your gun, and you can start shooting people. Um, sometimes you need to draw your gun and start shooting people before they shoot you, or sometimes you just don't like the way they were looking at you. Depends on how you play the game. Um, and this is sort of an explanation of all the things a character might do. They might leave, draw their gun immediately, wait a few seconds, then pull their gun. Leave a few seconds, if not drawn upon, so if you draw on them first, they'll draw their gun too. They might surrender. Anyways, uh, they could do a lot of stuff. At the end of the game, we'll get our performance review, which will have how well we maintained our authority, how many crook crooks we captured, how well romantically we did, um, the number of bad guys you shot, the number of times you shot and survived or died, so it'll either be none and if we lose, it'll be at least one, but sometimes you get saved by the doctor. Um, the little gravestones are innocents we've killed, so we'll try to keep from killing too many innocents the first playthrough, at least. And the number of crimes committed. Uh, I don't know if that's people getting away with it, or if that's us committing crimes by just shooting people, or stealing people's stuff. I haven't figured that out yet. I've only had that show up a couple times, though. So, there's some more credits. And to start, we have to press a funky button that isn't on the keyboard normally. I don't know exactly which button it is in the emulator version, so we're going to go here, the run stop. So we are going to enable fast loading to speed things along, E, but we can be shot, so the answer to you cannot be shot is no. The Law of the West, copyright 1985, Accolade Incorporated. Designed by Alan Miller, graphics by Minnie Doggett, music by Ed Bogus. Bogus? Bogas? We'll go with Bogas. Um, one of my favorite things about Commerce 64 games is they always have pretty good music. Even the. This is a. You know, a better known game and everything, but even the some of the cheap games that were poorly made and everything, their music was still pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and get started here. Here comes our first encounter. As you can see, you can already pull a gun real fast. Are you the sheriff of this stinking town? Yes, son. And it's a pretty nice town. Yeah, I think I'm gonna love it here. Yes, you can be quite nice here. What would you do if I robbed the bank? <laughs> I'd have to shoot you. Well, I don't think I will. Alright, that guy sometimes attacks you depending on what mood he's in. I guess this time he's decided he doesn't want to chance his luck. Oh, I got away. Whoa, here comes the 
sexy, sexy proprietor of the local drinking establishment. Well, hello there, big boy. <laughs> Mind if I come visit you sometime? Well, I don't know if I'm interested. say here. <laughs> I'm looking for a real good time. What an insult. <laughs> but I just need some womanly companionship. Boy, you're really a clod. Oh, I missed my chance with her. Oh well. <laughs> I've been shot by her before as well. this guy. Hey, gringo. I hear you got a fast draw. Say, aren't you the Mexicali kid? See, some call me that. There's a price on your head, I bet. See, but you will never take me alive. I'm gonna be rich. Pow, right in the nads, hopefully. He's down. No, gringo, you're going to be dead. Should have read that a little sooner. Nope. Here comes the dog. Kill any more people lately, Sheriff? Well, Doc, it's part of my job. Yeah, well, you seem to enjoy it. <laughs> what do you care? You're usually drunk. You calling me a drunk? <laughs> uh, yeah, here's a buck. Buy another bottle. Thanks, Sheriff. I needed that. <laughs> He is definitely a drunk, but hopefully that drunk saves our life later on if we get shot. Ooh, this guy looks like he's got a quite a large gun on him. At least I hope that's a gun. Sheriff, how do you like my new shotgun? It's right pretty, son, but put it away. Aw, oh, come on, Sheriff, I just bought it. Put it away, or I'll take it away. Oh, okay, I'll do what you want. I knew you'd knuckle under, punk. Bam, right in the foot. It seems like it doesn't matter really where you shoot them. Oh, here comes... Little Willy. He's probably got a secret for us. He always has a secret. I got a secret I won't tell. Well, is it an important secret? Oh, golly, yes. Hmm. Is your mom seeing Frank James again? No, not Frank. I'd like to quote your mother. I don't think she likes you. Aw. Depending on how you ask the questions, you can make it lead to a bank robbery or something like that. Or her, his mom might be sleeping with the doctor. She's apparently the local... Uh, trollop. Oh, and here comes the, the school marm. Why, hello there, Sheriff. Ha hello, Miss April. How are things? Good. I hear there's a hoedown tomorrow. Would you like to go with me? 
Well, I've sort of promised Doc. <laughs> Doc's a drunken womanizer. <laughs> but you didn't really promise, did you? No, not really. I'll go with you. <laughs> well, at least we headed off with one of the ladies of the game. Who's this guy? Sounds like he could be trouble. Those boys sure can't play poker. How much did you take him for this time? Oh, about 200 bucks, why? You carrying a gun? Of course, and I've used it a lot. Your face does look kind of familiar. I didn't think anyone remembered. Whoa! <laughs> we took him down. Oh, there's the deputy. <laughs> Where the heck have you been, Sheriff? I should ask you that question, deputy. I didn't actually mean to say that, but uh, I clicked it too many times. <laughs> He's been watching the bank from the saloon. Anything happen in there? There's some strangers hanging around. Well, where there's smoke, there's fire. I think you should check it out. Lazy, lazy deputy. I can shoot him if I want. You'll notice the guys in the background run away when you pull your gun. Oh! Took him down. See, depending on how you answer questions, you get clues to robbing a, someone robbing the bank or someone robbing the train, and you can get extra points by taking those criminals out, too. Now, if you watch the background horse guy there, when I pull up my gun, he gets out of here as fast as he can. Well, if it ain't the Tin Horn Sheriff... Who you calling a Tin Horn? You, you squirming varmint! What are you so angry about, Belle? Ah, uh, I just lost a hundred bucks at poker. Oh, that's a lot of money, I'm sorry. Gee, thanks, Sheriff. I'll be leaving now. Skedaddle. Pop, pop, pop. I think that counts as actually a pleasant uh, womanly conversation. You're the sheriff here, aren't you? What's it to you, punk? I came here to see the sheriff. You're looking at him. Well, you're pretty cocky. I'd say confident. Oh, sorry if that was a little loud. It's just, uh fun to get into... Oh, I... Congratulations! You made it to sunset! Our final score is 3,953. So I think that each one of those things at the bottom was a chance I had at finding out about a crime and stopping it, and instead of stopping it, I let it get away. The flying money bags. But I did apparently kiss three girls, and I really kept people, uh in respect to my authority, and I shot dead five criminals. So, not a bad, not a bad day at Gold uh, Gulch, but I guess we could have done a little bit better. We didn't kill any innocents. We also didn't capture any criminals, which is when you make them put their gun down. But all in all, I'd say that's pretty good. Anyways, that was a little bit of a quick Let's Play, one episode uh, long game. I'm Zerfall, and we've been playing Law of the West. Uh, I hope to do a few more of these little Commodore 64 quick game one episode games because they're pretty fun and they always, uh, 
you know, they drum up the nostalgia factor a little bit for me. I used to play C64 all the time. I had a C64 and all my friends had Nintendos, so um, it's what I'm really used to playing. Anyways, uh, please leave comments below, and if you have any ideas of any games you'd like to see me play, let me know about them, and I'd be happy to um, see about doing some of them up. I'm Zerfall, and thanks for watching.